Hello everyone. In today's video, I will show you how to display the content of a CDS view. The whole thing is done with a single line of code. But first, I create an internal table of type table uh, CDS view of my CDS view. In my example, set underscore test CDS. And then I do a normal select on this CDS view and write this data in uh, the internal table IT CDS. Then I do a loop and I assign the data to a field symbol or I can write it in a work area to maintain the data before display. So for example, I write here three columns out and I close my loop. Then I activate and I format my source code. Then I activate again and I run the code. And we see here the data from my CDS view. For example, three columns of my CDS view. But there is another shorter way to display data from the CDS view. So if you don't uh, need to maintain the data, from the CDS view, you can use a single line of code. But first I write a try and catch block because if we get an error, we don't uh, get a uh, short dump. So the exception will be catched. Okay, and now I use the class CL sarf GUI table IDA. And the IDA stands here for integrated data access. So the IDA class is a special version of the list viewer that enables display of data as ALV from tables having large number of records. And the operations like sorting and filtering can also be performed faster. Then I call here the method create for CDS view and here I pass the name of my CDS view set test CDS. Then I call the method full screen. And last I call the method display. And Then, okay, then uh, activate. And with this line of code, we can display the whole data of CDS view in ABAP. And here we can do the normal stuff like filtering, like sorting different columns. And we can use some uh, table operations like uh, summation of uh, data and so on. Yes, that was my short video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more content. Write me something in the comments. I'm always happy to read from you. Take care and see you soon.